Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It is a beautiful morning here in Rockport, Fulton, Texas. The Twin Cities. Some fishing boats out there at the end of the pier. We got blue skies, streaky clouds. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I removed all obstacles in my way. <laughs> yes, I'm all coffeeed up. The sun is shining. Everything, everything gonna be all right this morning. Oh, yeah. Woo! I gotta work on my woo. My woo needs work. Story of my life. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Fulton Harbor. Come on over and get your bait. See, the wind's blowing pretty good. They said 18 miles an hour. It doesn't feel like it, so I don't know. Zoom out just a little bit so we can get some footage of the boats. See what's going on. I got some good shrimp. I guess it was last weekend, two weekends ago, when I went to Baffin Bay Seafood. And then thanks to Baffin Bay Seafood, I got a good burger at Chili's the other day. I think it's okay. I don't know, guys. The sun makes a big difference in my life. I know we need the rain and the farmers need the rain and the ranchers need the rain, but give me 55 degrees and some sunshine like we're working on right now. That's some, uh, that's some good boondocking weather. And anytime we can get over here and see the boats, see how other people work and live. It's, uh, it's a good deal. Hopefully we're not getting too much wind on the microphone. I had heard, uh, and it's right ahead, that's why I'm thinking of it, Fulton's Irish Pub. We did a Friday feast from there two years ago on St. Patrick's Day. They were actually open Thanksgiving. So that was pretty neat. I saw... Um, CVS was open Thanksgiving. Uh, Whataburger was open Thanksgiving. Uh, McDonald's was open. I'm trying to think. I, I think all the retail stores were closed that I can remember. And, of course, all the little convenience store gas stations were open. So if you worked on Thanksgiving, thank you very much. I did ask, um, well, I don't want to say where they work so they don't get in trouble, but they did say they were getting time and a half. I just said, I, I hope you're getting overtime or double time. And they said, time and a half. And I was always one of those people that on the holidays wound up working time and a half. It's not bad. That way, if you went, uh, you know, you come from a big family or you have something to go to, you get the people like me to kind of fill in, people that don't mind working. I was always surprised. 99% of the people that would come in when you were working retail on a holiday were super nice. And then you would get the, the Brian's and the Karen's of the world. The entitled. <laughs> it's quiet. Guess all the fishermen must be out looking for Black Friday deals, huh? On the Saturday. Wonder if they go to the marine shops and look for Black Friday deals. Some event is going on at Fulton Mansion this morning. I don't know what it is. How rude. 
I was not notified. <laughs> that could just be people out enjoying Fulton Mansion. And the bay is right behind us. This is Fulton Beach Road we're on, but there's Fulton Mansion. And Robert Fulton was from the Philadelphia area. Go figure. Beautiful palm tree. I wonder what kind it is. Well, Walmart is absolutely mobbed today. It's about 1045 in the morning. I was over by Automotive uploading a video, and I met Larry. Good morning, Larry. Larry uh, watches my channel. I appreciate that. And he saw where Walmart had replaced my turn signal for me. Uh, Larry lives up in Alabama now, and he's visiting in the area. And he had a headlight go out. So he said from watching my channel, he knew he could come here and not have to mess with it. And uh, they took care of him took care of it for him. So Larry, it was very nice to meet you. And then uh, once Larry was taken care of, he came back over to the truck and gave me a very nice gift card for Walmart. So thank you, Larry. That is uh, awesome, my friend. If you guys ever wanted to know what uh, the back of a Walmart looked like, <laughs> today's your lucky day. It's a very nice wooded area right behind the Walmart. Little strip of land between Walmart and the uh, Rockport Country Club. And uh, I often see deer back in there. They use it to go from one spot to another. And that's kind of the uh, middle school straight ahead there with the high school behind it. But I got my video uploaded. Said hi to my Walmart buddies. Did not go in today, but there's the uh, automotive dudes who always take care of me and would probably take care of you as well if you got to use the Walmart. I got to head up to the beach and make some grub. By the way, I got gas for $2.49 a gallon. It's uh, still $2.59 a gallon, and I got $0.10 cents off a gallon with my uh, little Walmart discount. Look, I found a casita. <laughs> Pretty neat. So this is the back of the new art center, and it's not blocked off like it has been. I came over here to uh, film the little plaza between the two buildings, and it is really crowded. I think people are still doing their Black Friday shopping. And I was just turning around on the back road and saw this was open. And, uh, oh, wow, we can get a view of the plaza back here. I don't want to park here. I'm going to. Look at that. That's a little, the wind is so strong, it's blowing the water right off of this fountain, right onto my camera and truck. That's pretty neat. And uh, maybe on a weekday, it won't be crowded. I would like to get out and explore a little bit. I mean, I could just park back here. There's the church bell. Can you hear it? Oh, this is good to know. Rockport Art Center. 
Rockport Art Association Incorporated. There's the little statue I was looking for right there. That was at the old museum. And even when uh, Hurricane Harvey took the old art museum, that statue was still there. And then it was gone one day. So I'm really glad to see it's here. That's a nice little plaza. And what else did we learn today, guys? If you're coming here, there are parking spaces back here behind the center. And there's handicap parking right there. So that's good to know. I done learned something. Rockport Center for the Arts. I got to go get some oatmeal made, guys. 11 o'clock and I have not eaten breakfast yet. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching.